Yo, what's up, everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you guys an absolutely crazy replay against Purely. I'm playing Pendulum. This is absolutely nuts. This is live on DK's tournament, and you're going to witness I literally get drilled. Bro. And Demian getting drolled. Now, this is going to be a big issue in Mastodon moving forward for everyone playing in Demian. And the, the, you know, the fact that these are like 0. Point something percent rates, guys, you guys will do better than that. Look at this. It's unplayable. This is, I'd rather get Max Seed oh and Ash than hit with one droll. This is like Shifter versus Tier Limit. Droll obliterates in Demian badly. Moving forward, we probably have to play Call by the Grave to stop this. I think a lot of people are playing droll moving forward. But this is going to be the craziest replay you've ever seen. This was unreal live in the tournament. I'm also going to go through the purely plays to teach you guys exactly how to play purely because some people don't know exactly so this pure lily this is the best card in the deck this one is the only one that's it is once per turn the other one is not once per turn so this replay is gonna be insane stay tuned till the end let's go and if you're new on the channel smash the subscribe button let's go so over here they're gonna go my friend purely my friend purely is typically the card this is the continuous spell this is typically the card that pure lily searches the game plan of this deck is that you get a bunch of these quick play spells and they each rank up to a specific extra deck card a specific purely extra deck card and each of them can only be brought up to one of them for example pretty goes into the one that sounds like pretty beauty and delicious goes into the one that sounds like it's for fat people plump vice versa so look at the name and just know that that specifically is the one that it goes into pretty is for pretty people like pendulum players delicious is for plump for the fatties and that's an easy way to remember it that the names are kind of similar and the other level one the white cat that one's not once per turn, but it's not the best one. This is the best one. The pure lily is the best one because you specifically choose what you search. The field spell protects them all from being targeted to turn the air special summon and allows them to equip one of the quick play spells from the deck. And what each of them essentially do just so you get an idea is once the quick play spell is equipped underneath the XYZ, this one allows it so the XYZ is able to once per turn, you can send another card you control to the graveyard to attach a card to it. Plump allows it or delicious allows it to uh everything gains 300 attack but mainly the effect of plump is it attaches two spells and traps and sleepy draws one at my standby phase and look up for the trap card because the card you're really scared of in this deck is the five plus material noir you're gonna see it come down in this duel keep in mind i got drolled so i literally can't do anything but purely does have trouble otking so i know i'm gonna get drolled i know i got drolled but thanks to this trap card that he has and quite a fat plump, he's going to get a fat plump over here. He's going to get rid of my abductor, which is a cool play. So a beauty, this is a cool play. It's similar to, if you guys are familiar with Flunder, Flunder is able through the continuous spell out spells, spells and traps, etc. This card does the same thing uh, where it's able to attach a spell to it. Now plump is going to be able to attach two spells to itself anywhere, not just purely spells. And then he's going to be able to end phase, equip a quick play, uh, put a quick play spell underneath it. Now it's five materials. Then the standby phase, this is a very important play for all the uh, purely players, especially new players. Keep in mind, look at my hand. I'm probably cooked. Look at this. Sleepy allows him to draw the card at the standby. But by using the trap card that he has, also allows him to trigger to get another equip underneath. By using pure Lily Leap, he's able to, to put the big Noir on top and still trigger noir, uh, the Sleepy again to draw again in the standby. What this card does, it's a towers. It's unaffected by everything. It's unaffected by every single card in Yu-Gi-Oh! And only when it has five materials are over, though. Currently, it has seven materials. So I'm facing Mission Impossible right now. This is seriously Mission Impossible. Am I going to be able to win this against Purely? Um, I'm going second right now. Well, I'm going third. I won first, and then I got drolled. Let's see what we could do. So I activate Knowledge on Blue Boy. And Talents doesn't do anything against here. So I'm going to have to keep drawing and hope I draw some good stuff. This is really... Bro, bro I do not play any way to out Noir. So the only way I win this game right now, and this is what you have to do against this deck. Keep in mind, you can enter battle phase and destroy this card. But so this does not get, uh, it does not protect from battle. But because of this card, Delicious Memory, it has an insane amount of attack and defense. 4,900. So the only way I win this game now is I need him to use its effect twice to shuffle one of my cards quick effect. I use chicken game. And what do I draw into? Another chicken game. And now this is why we play this engine. Look at my graveyard. I have three spells. Wouldn't it be amazing if I drew engage? <laughs> this deck's insane. This is why you have to play Sky Strike and mobilize and engage in this deck. It's even more strong with Azalea as well. You do some cool plays with Hayate. So now we go engage to draw. Now I actually have a chance. Remember, talents cannot take Noir. Widow cannot negate Noir. It's unaffected by everything, and Noir could use its effect freely. Now I'm going to go into Hornet. Hornet will be able to get me Kagari. Now I'm going to do a cool play. I want him to use Beauty. I need him to use Beauty so I could use talents. So I bait him. I use Kagari targeting engage. 
I specific I, I have no more targets for engage by the way but I big brain him I don't have a target for engage widow was, that was like the worst draw ever because it's my only target left in deck but by targeting engage bro he can't let me draw again and search another card there's no way so he's forced to beauty in which I chain widow to steal the beauty and this is why I did this to bait the one noir to get rid of the engage because noir not only gets rid of cards in the field but also in the grave so now by he cannot let that resolve if engage keeps getting pluses he's screwed so he changed the noir so now i only have to deal with the five material noir so i'm close i'm getting close he gets rid of the engage but that's no problem i really don't care all this was just bait now i still i really need a low scale badly i summon a souls out i go talents keep in mind i got drolled bro the turn before and i'm facing a seven material noir and a beauty and i draw into servant because that's what we do out here i go soul to draw chicken game how do we even get to this point this is why pendulum is just so insane it's truly droll or lose droll or maxi or lose if you don't have droll or maxi you're cooked earlier in this tournament i got d shifter flunder had full combo with d shifter and we played around it d shifter hurts but not as much as droll and maxi so we still have five cards somehow but now we still have to be smart keep in mind this is five material so we still have to play around that five material i draw to astrograph i have scales set up i'm trying to bait him to get rid of my servant or my mighty master i want my Celine to resolve I summon a curtain razor and bring out thank you very much jesse for the raid welcome everyone on youtube this is a replay of facing off noir and purely with five hand traps this is going on youtube hello everyone thank you for the raid jesse everyone go give jesse a follow and subscribe so noir uses celine this is where he makes a massive error he has to use noir on the first effect of celine he allows celine to gain counters so now i change celine's effect to put to chain it to summon jackal from my graveyard and then he chains the noir knowing jackal's coming out again for a second time to get rid of the servant so i got my free jackal and what card is legal in master duel and tcg beyond the pendulum so we face droll noir seven material beauty and we're still gonna win this is probably the greatest comeback in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. unreal beyond the pendulum pop that and chicken game this cannot be targeted because of the quick play spell but that's no problem when you're mighty master in the scale we did all of this through droll turn one this is on turn two when you have the full setup oh my god this is probably the craziest replay of purely that you'll ever see and i do not go into access code just in case because i want counters on, on jackal and that's game absolutely insane this was an amazing replay probably the craziest replay i've ever seen with this i also want to give a shout out to dk's tournament so it's very fun and if you guys love the master duel content i will continue do joining every single week this was one of the in most insane comebacks this was through keep in mind droll literally just says skip your turn and he put up seven material noir which no de not many decks get out i don't play the goddess uh, the beauty and i still got this and sadly i didn't win this tournament but uh yo when you get hit with all these hand traps it it's part of the game combo decks do lose to decks with 18 hand traps and he just had way too many so if this video gets 1000 likes on youtube i'm gonna make it a mission to join the next eight tournaments the next eight tournaments, I'm going to pre-sign up and join all of them. Thank you guys for watching this video. Before we end off this video, I will show you guys the deck list. All right, guys, this is the deck list that we took. If you guys are familiar with my deck list, Econ is a somewhat of a new addition. It's remarkable required. It's really good going second. And Mascarena is a new addition we added. The reason why we added Mascarena is to play around Maxi better. Uh, with decks like Purely, they can't deal. If you put up nine negates, it's actually tough for them to deal with nine negates, even if they have 15 cards in hand. So we add Mascarena because it adds... Also has more synergy with the Widow, where you could like Masquerina everything into a four material at Belosa and still have your Widow open and hope you survive. And But because Droll is a new addition to the meta, I hate to admit it, we do have to add it in. I don't think Call By uh, is like a crazy... Call By is not that crazy. But if you look at what this deck has issues with, it's Droll and Max C. And you can even say shift it to a lower level. Those hand traps are absurd. So because uh, Tier Limit is moving out of the meta, Tier Limit is moving out of the meta... Econ was a hard counter to tier limit because when they go Selyak, you Econ takes something else. Econ stops three interruptions and Blue Boy resolves. Econ is a beautiful card, but we will have to remove it here for call by to ensure that for the meta, it's more synergized. And Droll is the only card. So you guys have to keep in mind, you have to think of what the meta is and play around the meta. Droll is a hard counter. Another answer to Droll is you try and use three spells. Sorry. Try and use the get them to use a monster effect like like normal something to try and force beauty or force a monster effect maybe force an ash blossom with servant or something it's pretty difficult in this deck without searching and then you talents and get rid of joel from their hand that's an answer 
uh, or, or resolving servant to bring out a jackal to negate the droll after you draw but it's very difficult to do because most of the spells here draw gamma is another answer answer but gamma is just so shit uh even if it's at three don't play it gamma is just horrible it's not good call by being a spell does seriously come up it, it's a good card being a spell there's times you even might want to call by nothing so called by in this format with droll being a card we do need to play it sadly i don't really like call by but i also toss maxi so in this format i'm happy with it this will be the updated list astro is a card i've been thinking about removing uh in the game three it's brick it, it breaks a few times but it does open up a lot of plays i do think astrograph is removable i think magister is also removable i think both of these two are removable because the cards that you really want to see are servant abductor and mastery and all the draw cards you have in the deck the insane amount of draw power uh which is why you're not playing 42 you're playing 25. this deck is very expensive 100 i will not cap it's very expensive and i think we keep talents magister and astro are debatable to cut i think i will i think i will actually i will cut both both of them keep in mind now with this cut list like this Mighty Masters is your only real high scale. Curtain Raiser is like a mini high scale. So be careful with Desires. Desires, the reason why I play two, two Desires and not three Desires is very specific. It's because look at the draw cards in the deck. Two Souls, Blue Boy, that's three. Uh, Upstart, six. Into the Void, nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Engage literally just says draw one. So that's 16, 17, 18, 21. You have 21 draw cards. So you're actually playing a 19 card deck. So in a 19 card deck, do you want to open three Desires? No. You, you never resolve like the one time we resolved two desires we had one card in our deck you guys remember in the tournament we resolved uh yeah this was game one we got max seed we let him draw nine times we almost beat him on my turn on my follow-up i used desires after my draw i had one card left in my hand i had no answer so desire like you're never ever 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 gonna resolve two desires and on top of that you never even like you always draw into the desires anyways and so three like trust me it's it's too much and desires is not even absurd in this deck you do only play one jackal you only play three high scales you only play a finite number of cards for skies for engage and that's the deck uh this overall the deck i do i'm a big fan of it i added masquerade and i do think continue playing it azalea is another card that's pretty decent but a lot of the times when you go into azalea you could also freely just go into selene and selene accomplishes the same thing and azalea like as cool as it is i'd only like it because of the synergy with kagari and hayate but then i have to put in hayate which like it's too much space Masquerina comes up more often with uh when you get max seed and is better synergy with widow and yeah so that's the video hope you guys enjoy it make sure to follow on twitch as well more content coming soon thank you guys for watching pendulum is better than purely i'm gonna make this my life mission to prove it thank you guys see you guys next video peace yo youtube glad you didn't leave yet i accidentally just got a royal underworld goddess because it's royal i think it's mandatory that every pendulum player in the world has to play it now so we're switching up the extra deck slightly we got it for a reason we got it to play around the the meta of stopping noir artemis comes up when you hard draw knowledge i think it's more likely that you want to play around purely which would be the most played deck at the moment because it's new versus hard drawing a one of in your deck hard drawing it so for that purpose play underworld goddess over artemis that's about it also wow that's sexy all right that's it have a good day everyone bye